with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this look in under 10 minutes. So in today's video, to create the curly sort of wanded effect hair, I'll be using Got To Be Glue, this spray for metal talcum, absolutely, and a Tresemme hair wand. Right now, I haven't done anything with my hair. My hair is really basic. First thing you wanna do is always make sure that your hair is lotion or oiled as some people would say so i use the olive oil glossing hair polisher absolute best a small quantity just about that much you guys rub it in your hands and i like to grab the ends of the hair and sort of like rub it in um especially the back because the back of the hair always gets missed so you don't want to miss that cool so Make sure you've got that 10 minute timer because this will literally take you no longer than 10 minutes. 15 minutes at a top. Now, the quickest way to do this style is to separate your hair into two sections. So I've already got my hair band on, I always have that on deck. The technique that I like to use is making the back bigger curls than the front. Curls always drop out. So if it's your back curls, you're not really gonna care. Get some got to be. And what you want to do is sort of hold your hair in your hand, shake your spray, always shake it before you use it. And just spray. And if you split it into two, spray this side. That is all the spray you need. Spray, the hair gets quite tangled, so you just want to comb it through, but not too much. Because I always assume it takes off the residue of the glue. Split your hair into two, a little bit more. And what we're gonna do with these two sections, we're gonna divide it into four equal parts, either side. So this side will have four parts, that side. In total, it'll be eight. So if I start off with this, that is one. You can throw that back. That will be two, three, and four. So if we start off with four, mine are not completely even, but that is okay. This is a quick style, and it really doesn't have to be perfect. So what you want to do is wrap it round, literally leave it for like 10 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and if you let it go, you've already got your curl in 10 seconds. So before I learned this sort of technique with the got to be spray, I was holding each curl for literally 45 seconds. And it would take me over an hour to wand my whole head. It's far too long if you're in a rush. So it got to the point where when I was going out, if I had, I don't know, an hour and a half to get ready for everything, I'd just be like, okay, I have to have straight hair. Which isn't a problem, but when you're going for a certain look and you've got like a cute outfit with straight hair and you anticipate to have curly hair, it's just like, oh. It's annoying. So it's annoying regardless. So yeah. So in total, it should take you 40 seconds for one side. This section into four. So you've got one, two, three, four. I'm going to start off with section four. So this one didn't happen straight away, which is okay. So I'll go over it again, turn it off into my hand. Uh, and there you are. So that's the back of the front. Now the front, I like to do really tiny curls at the front and then at the side and the sort of back top bit, a little bit bigger. Yeah. 
Now, there's not a number of how I would divide this into with the top. I'll probably do four big ones and then the rest really small. So that will be number one. Number two. Number three. And this will be number four. So what I'm left with will be the really small ones. I'm going to leave this and move on to that. Repeat exactly what I did on the left side. Section three and section four. All right, so straight away, I can see I've got more small sections to do on the right side than the left, and that is okay. Totally up to your preference. I don't mind asymmetry. I'm just showing you how to do a super quick hairstyle if you're in a rush. Bringing it to the front. It's a much smaller section, same technique, wrapping it round and twisting it up towards the root of your hair, not too close. 10 seconds, drop it and you're done. So I'm going to do the rest. Now time to do the right hand side. And then you are coming to the end. So what I would normally do is do a sort of final spray. You can see I've got a strand there. I would just literally wand that. And then sort of hide it. Hide it away. So then you'll get your your comb and sort of just comb your hair. Now you do this part before you add the spray, just so your natural hair can just blend in. So this is what I would do, sort of tease it through a combination of my fingers and the comb. And that is your hair curled. Super quickly, super easy. You want your curls to stay like this. What you want to do is add a little bit more. <laughs> this is done now say you've got two or three more minutes left to get ready you can have the option to add gummy this is the hard finish the blue one get a little bit on your comb sort of draw it around and then you get that out your comb and comb your hair back using your fingers to sort of push back at the same time. I literally just use my hands for this, but some people use, you know, a toothbrush or an actual hair hairbrush. And that is this look completed. So if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. Turn on post notifications. I will see you in the next video. Bye.